Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you haven't been here before, hi, my name is Sim. Today's video is for all my fellow South Africans out there that have moved to the UK and I'm going to take you through the process of how to exchange your South African driver's license for a UK driver's license. The good news is you don't have to take any taste to do this, so we don't need to relive our traumatic past experience of doing our driver's license taste. The process is actually basically done through the post, so it's very easy and straightforward. Before we get into the process, I just want to mention that you can only exchange your South African license once you are a resident in the UK. And to qualify as a resident, you have to live in the UK for at least 185 days. Once you qualify as a resident, you actually still have 12 months where you are legally allowed to drive with your South African license here in the UK. South Africa is qualified as a designated country, and there's a whole list of countries that fall under this category. But because of this, you are allowed to drive with your South African license here for a limited time. And that's also the reason why you can just exchange your driver's license and you don't actually have to do a taste. Once you've gone past the 12 month period and you are still in the UK and you want to be able to legally drive here, you will however have to exchange your South African license for a UK one. Luckily, 12 months is more than enough time because the process to exchange your license, like I said, is really easy. Firstly, you just need to head over to your postal office and ask them for a D1 form. They'll probably hand you the form in this brown envelope, which is nice because you can just use this envelope to post your form back. And then inside you will see the form and they will probably also include a little booklet with information on how to complete the form. The form isn't complicated and it's only about two pages. So once you've completed it, you'll have to post it back to the DVLA, which is the Driver and Vehicle Licensing Agency here in the UK. On the form, you will see that you need to add a driver's license photo. This is going to be the photo that will appear on your driver's license card once you receive it. Thought it was important to mention that because you will be stuck with that photo for a long time. It won't just be for the form. There are special dimensions and requirements for the photo. So I would suggest just going to a shop where they take ID photos and they'll know exactly what the photo needs to look like. You also need to post your South African driver's license card with the form. And lastly, they also need some information or documents to prove your identity. So if you have a UK passport, you will just be able to fill in your passport number on the form and they won't actually require you to send your passport or any other documents to prove your identity. If you, however, don't have a UK passport, you will have to include other documents to prove your identity and you will actually have to post that to them. They list on the forms the options for documents that you can submit. In my case, I am here on a spousal visa and I received a biometric residence permit, which shows that I am permitted to live and work in the UK. So I also posted my biometric residence permit card with my exchange form. Remember that you need to send the original document. It can't be a photocopy, otherwise they won't accept it. The documents that you submit to prove your identity will be posted back to you. So you don't have to worry about collecting it some way. It will be sent to your address and it will probably come a few days after you actually received your new UK driver's license in the post. The very last thing that you need to include is a postal order to cover the fee to exchange your license. The fee to exchange your license is £43. So you just go to the post office, you tell them that you need a postal order to exchange your license. They'll probably already know the cost, but like I said, it is £43. And then they will give you the postal order to include in your envelope. 
Just to mention that on top of the £43 for the exchange fee, you will also be charged 12.5% of the value of the postal order. This is just like a transaction fee, so this doesn't go to the DVLA, this is a fee that the post office takes. Okay, so that covers everything that you need to post. Just to summarize it all, you need to post your D1 form with a photo. You need to post your South African driver's license. You also need any documents to prove your identity if you don't have a valid UK passport. And lastly, you need your postal order for the exchange fee. Once you've got all of that and you're ready to post it, you need to send it to the DVLA Swansea. And on the back of your form in section G, they actually have the postal code there that you need to send the documents to. It then takes up to three weeks to hear anything back and after that period you should receive a letter in the post with your new UK driver's license card. That covers the whole process but before I go I just have a few important things that I want to mention. Firstly you can only exchange your South African driver's license for a UK one if you have a credit card style license and your South African license also still needs to be valid. So if it's already expired, you unfortunately won't be able to exchange it for a UK license. Also know that you have five years to exchange your license from the date that you became a resident. After that, if you haven't exchanged it, you will probably have to apply for a UK license and do a test. Lastly, just know that you won't get your South African license back. That's one of the documents that they're not going to post back to you. So if you don't get it back, don't stress, that's normal. You now have your UK driver's license. That brings us to the end of the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to give it a thumbs up down below. I would really appreciate that. And also if you want to see more tips for South Africans here in the UK, also remember to subscribe to my channel because I post new videos every week. Thank you so much for watching and then I'll see you in my next video.